Out here we doing it with some fire pro only been waiting since October or so September August something like that I literally have not even clicked the button yet to open it <clears throat> I've watched a few different people streaming it and uh, seeing generally how they have everything set up um, makes me feel like maybe I'm not quite ready this might be more of a test but I can't wait any longer and uh, I could spend a lot of time downloading some more wrestlers and getting all that sorted out but for now I don't really want to spend any more time I know I still got to make Steve Kern and I got to still make Jackie Fargo all these wrestlers I was stockpiling that I want to wrestle but damn it let's click this button right let's see what happens I have no idea what's going to happen with these scattered different um, wrestling federations that I've got going on right now so you're literally watching me open this for the first time and I'm just going to let the uh, promotions kind of form themselves I guess Start with a new promotion. Start with the custom promotion. This is where I'm not quite sure. I don't even have my promotion set up. Oh man. Let's start with the new promotion. And this is where I can name it. The very unique and um not generic at all world wrestling or as stylized as VVV looks like two W's connected kind of I, I thought it was funny but um, this goes back to some of my days of like muscle men and stuff playing back a long time ago when I was first starting to book I guess you could call that and uh, it was just world wrestling and I got a pretty sweet logo for it on my ring if we get to that point. We should get that far. It won't let me write it. They say long name, but it's really not that long. Because that's not even two worlds. Fire Pro Wrestling World would not fit there. World Wrestling. That's it. That's all I'm going to get. World Rest. World Wrestle. Hmm. Good enough. Promotion style. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I thought there was like some definitions for this and I'm not seeing it now. Kings Road or Strong, I'm not sure 
how the two differ, but I'm gonna say Kings Road. Home territory. Are we in America? Yeah, we live in America. New stable. So this. Gosh darn. I mean, what was, what was the plan with this? I don't know if I even have all my guys yet. So this could be very much just a test see what happens when I push the button how it slices and dices these promotions I don't want to get stuck with those uh, generic SWA guys that come with the game so we gotta figure that out um, I'm gonna keep these names I guess Noble and 666 sounds great Cannot change promotion name or home territory. That's fine. We'll say normal. I really just don't know how exciting this can be after, on the long term end of it. I'm going to say there's 16 because there's a lot of wrestling promotions out there. change promotion interesting what am I doing I think there's going to be some interesting stuff going on because SWA has um, guys that shouldn't be in there and then a lot of different ones. There's a lot of them, aren't there? Goodness. And I'm much smaller than all of them. Um, six, four, and ten. What's the four? Women wrestlers, maybe? I don't see anybody else that's doing the King's Road. So this could be interesting. Trying to get people to trade in and out. It won't let me change anything. Yes, this is it, right? There's a bunch of strong styles. I feel like one of those needs to be something different a little bit, right? Well, ain't this some shit. All right, let's just hit the start button and see what's going on. It's gonna take me a hot minute to try to get my head around these different promotions. I should have used the custom. I'm gonna have to spend some time. This seems like some stuff I can do on my Vita, organizing, getting these guys in the right federations. But let's go ahead and see what happens. Congrats on establishing your new promotion. Let's make the magic happen. We got what it takes to pull ahead of the pack. The world's arts for the taken. First, we have to take this group of nobodies and turn them into somebodies. You saw something special when you signed them. Time to develop that potential. We're all counting on you, boss. So, I am going to get stuck with these freaking jobbers. Some creative player people I've never heard of. And this is making me remember that I didn't ever create my own guy. 
never finished making my own character. Alright, clicking some buttons here. I don't like these guys. <laughs> Transfer stable, configure stable. The other thing I'm worried is that that had some people in the. Re I had new downloads I hadn't moved from Atari yet, so that's not good. Um. Let's see who's all in SWA that we don't want in SWA. Looks okay. Dag Boomer gets paid a good chunk. He reigned supreme in some of the early battle royals and things that I was building. Um, okay, so let's see who's in this one. Do I even know who these people are? Are these are these people that were on the game already? I don't know. This is interesting so I know I have my dreams and delusions of getting all my wrestlers and stuff set up but for now this might not be too bad of a start and it could be good for a couple reasons because I need the practice to see what I'm doing but beyond that I like having some of these wild cards like computer generated characters because we have now try to scout them and uh, figure out what they're all about so Yamato Ryukawa is like the real deal look at his attack and his defense mask legend Got all sorts of uh, of uh, stables in this federation. And I don't, I'm not familiar with any of these guys, so I don't know if these were all new creations. Ted Axel, huh? That's interesting. I don't think any of these guys um, existed, did they? I think the game just kind of generated these dudes. That's interesting. This randomized no I think that guy's been on here I'm assuming none of these are real people maybe I'm wrong I don't know so very interesting um completely nullifying the created wrestlers I've spent so long downloading we jump right into a random stuff where I don't know any of these people and these are just weird like hybrids of people 
created through just the random randomization of the computer. Huh. They didn't use any of the wrestlers that I have downloaded and it just started making people up. It's interesting. We'll see what happens, I guess. That's a, a little different twist. We ride it out with this weirdo alternate universe roster here. Steve Smith. Taking it all in here. Well, that's interesting. I am not sure. Is this the hardcore company? Kodo Hanamichi. Swaichiro Nagatsi. He's old, man. He's a 48. This guy's not young. He's 39. 42. Aging. This guy's 49. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got these generic wrestling federations doing their their thing, right? And uh, this federation is also King's Road, the Midnight Knight, Warren Watson, Wolf Fang, Adam Davis, the Bomb Squad, Alan Brown. G Reaper. Interesting. This is interesting. I, I mean, I think it, it's fun to do this, right? Sure. The game just decided to create all these new people, so I thought there was an option to swap people out. Where did I see that? Promotion style strong. These companies have a lot of money. ROW, number of title belts, zero. I'm not sure how all that works out, right? Negotiation. What am I negotiating with them? Always doing the King's Road stuff. Except us, I guess. What am I doing? Consultation?
I mean, we've got six guys, right? That's it. That's what we get. I thought I could swap out. It would be nice to also be able to uh, just randomly see all of the wrestlers, not like in the stables or in their, you know what I'm saying? Free agents of Europe, none. Free agents of Latin America. Bernardo. What's up, Bernardo Gomez? Looks like he is uh, MMA style. Pablo Rodriguez is actually pretty good. Too expensive. And the Lucha style. Probably not going to fit with our King of the Road. King's Road, I should say. Uh... They're also very expensive. Yuki Himuro. Pretty good popularity. But damn, he's expensive. It's only 25. Doesn't say, does it, what is, uh... It doesn't say exactly what his gimmick is or... If it's heel, does it matter? Literally just starting this for the first time, and um, if you've played Fire Pro, you're aware that the promoter mode's been uh, teased and toyed with us since August. So definitely pumped, and uh, I've been spending all that time downloading, creating wrestlers. But then I click the create a new promotion and the game just all of a sudden generated all these new um, created wrestlers that were on the game. And I'm kind of into it. I, I think the starting fresh with no idea who any of these guys are kind of lets me really evaluate them and um, not get hung up on sentimentality like booking guys I like in real life. So... At least for now, I think I'm going to roll with it and use the uh, just alternate universe that the game's created. And so I'm looking for a couple dudes to sign right off the bat. I don't know if it'll let me. Imagine the guys might kind of put up a fight and say something to the effect that they're not interested. But I only have six workers. And, um, hell, maybe I have to... Maybe I have to expand the gym before I can sign a guy. Is that is that possible? So what is this? Brokers? No, not what I want. And so SWA is, I guess, kind of the big leagues here. They've got the big money, at least. As you can see, their salaries. Pretty good size. 30G for Sam Blocks. And my favorite Dag Boomer. This dude's a wrecking ball when I would simulate battle royals and stuff. And uh, interested to see him in this universe and what he's going to do. So back to these free agents here. I'm going to see if I can snag somebody. Uh, these guys are getting a lot of money though. Popularity is good for this for both of these guys. Paul the Raging Hammer Collins. His attack and defense ain't great. Alan Hawkins with I can't tell what his get up is. The Canadian sensation. He gets paid too much. I can't even toy with that. This guy, Charlie Arai. He's a light heavyweight, though. I'm not going to spend any money on a light heavyweight right off the bat. 
So now with these people who are already signed, what happens? It's five six, one hundred sixty seven pounds. That's ridiculous. Warren Watson, I think's the guy. He's the only person I've seen that actually wrestles with the King's Road style. Will he sign? I doubt it. I don't know how this works when you haven't actually wrestled a match yet. Matt Gibson looks like he might be better. Cheaper. Better defense. Everything else is the same, pretty much. And he's got the spiral bomb. That sounds good. A rolling lariat's always great. Six four two fifty three. The final wrestler. I'm into it. I'm into it. Either him or Matt Gibson. Or wait, Jonathan Morris, I mean. The Wandering Assassin. He's got some kind of like uh, muscle men like get up the Terry Bull. He worked in a BCCD. BCDC. It's all the same. Sprinkled differently. He's cheaper. Ah, I can't really tell if they're face or good guy. Uh, what do you say, chat? Which guy? Got the final wrestler, Matt Gibson, or the wandering assassin? They have a good relationship with their current company. Okay, so this isn't a loan. That was us trying to take them. Is what it seemed like right there. So what's a consultation then? What, what am I doing here? The Divine Matt Robinson. Trying to think, trying to look through this. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the consultation. Other than, uh, do you want, what do you want to discuss with them? Okay. Well, I might want to discuss getting rid of some of these dudes. Bill Bullock, he works for nothing though. I'm just, uh, trying to beef up this roster just from the start because there's not much here and I found a couple of guys I actually wanted to steal but it said something like they had a good relationship with their present company they probably wouldn't so Warren Watson yikes look at this fella with those shorts bro um that's too expensive. It was these two fellas here. One of the two. I wanted to just get them on loan. So, DFW. Let's just try to broker something with DFW. I'm probably going to waste this money, but... Uh... Try loaning and borrowing wrestlers. That's how do I do that? Is that managing stables? Mm. Mm, I don't know. What am 
gonna miss him. I can't figure out how to loan How many can I train at my gym? How many people? So, first play through here, I mean, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. But, I don't see anywhere where... Or these guys are doing what I need them to do. What's going on here? Standby versus make offer. Yeah, don't really know what I'm doing. Spending some money, wasting some money, I think. Um, what else? Management. Training center. to level one. How much money do I have? I think we need to do this right off the bat. The larger your gym, the more wrestlers you can train. Procure a sandbag, yes. Oh yeah, kids. I feel like I should probably do that uh, ring doctor room too, but I don't know nothing, right? That seems like it's a pretty good start. I don't want to get too crazy now. Maybe too late for that, but. So, yeah, it said something about starting a relationship with the DFW first. Well, that didn't work. Right? Didn't work. So, I guess I gotta find a free agent. Find one of these guys who will, will work for kind of cheap. This guy's not too bad. What's the S in popularity? I can't imagine an S is good. A hybrid max. What is, what is that? What is a hybrid max? Popularities through the roof, it looked like. This 
guy's not too bad. The B in defense and attack. He's kind of older, though. It's Charles Young again. Find some cheaper fellas here. No luck. Kurt, no one likes Kurt Kidman, but the Death Prince, Ernest Miller. It's too much money, I'm afraid. It's a lot of money. Oh, we're gonna have to shell out some f bucks or what? I mean, I think we're gonna have to if we wanna get somebody here to be beginning stages. Who's the cheapest? 2800. We want Paul Collins or I mean Charles Young is the man. $2,500 for negotiations. Right off the bat. We may we might not be able to hook them if the salary is too low. How much do you offer as a signing bonus? Well, we wasted money on that, on the negotiations, great. I don't understand where the loaning comes in. How do I do that? Where, where's the loan? <laughs> no, there's none. Configure stable now. Cannot create new stable, they're all assigned. Well, I mean, I guess that's what it is. Here's the stupid thing book event, invite, loan. Invite Yuki. No, it's a lot of money. Well, this just seems like it's going to be that expensive no matter who. It's impossible to expect results from the fact that the rank difference is big with our promotion. Yeah. Rank difference is big with our promotion.
There is no ranking yet. Any of those guys, he's a B in popularity. All right, so we booked him. Interesting. I just wonder if I could have just did a cross promotion. enough wrestlers so we don't have enough wrestlers either not yet to have like a tournament okay just the venue for the audience forecast, the crafting, the fight cards, too much work. Leave it to the magic button, select random entry. So I'll do random entry and we'll see how this goes. Um, configure title match. No. I wish there was a way to know who was going to win or just say that the winner of the last match gets a surprise from Matt Kelly, the final wrestler. Matt Kelly. Configure match style rules. Any way to make it a three way? No. some kind of stupid rules here. Like just the best two of three. sure exactly what I'm doing on that. Just messing stuff up it seems like. happened to Kelly I thought I signed him for so I invited him and I'm not gonna get a wrestle him or use him as I can't put him on the card what 
Rohr. So I wasted all that money then. It's sadly what it looks like. Not sure what happened to the guy that I borrowed. What's going on here? Did changing that make any difference? 11.42. Yeah, I got 24 more. I'll lose 24. Lose a lot there. Match style, free agent. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I can do to get these people uh, fired up, right? I didn't seem to do anything. time limit on these who's wrestling Thomas Walker huh I'm not sure what his skill level is This is pretty much what it has to be at this point. Looking at the audience forecast and the capacity with zero advertising, it's eleven sixty six, forty eight hundred dollars. A poster would cost five thousand to get us fifty eight more people in the door. Five thousand for fifty eight people. 82 people that's expensive so we run a TV commercial and we've got the thing almost sold out So 
So it's just this TV commercial that's costing so much. Not sure what I'm doing with the advertising here. Trying to get some people in the doors without blowing through too much of my money. I'm gonna leave it at print ad, I think. And let's get. Uh, where's my. Mills Lane's in there. Mike Armstrong. I got a bunch of interesting people that I think the game's created. We're in the alternate universe here. I didn't have all of my promotions set up quite the way I want with all the downloads. So I'm trying it with. Uh, this hodgepodge made up stuff and we're about to book our first card so I'm blowing through money quick not knowing what I'm doing exactly with some contract negotiations let's see how this first goes what I'd like to do is get a few more dudes on the roster before we have a tournament and get other promotions to maybe have their guys come too but I don't really know how all that works yet. First blind playthrough, I literally just pushed the button and accessed the promoter mode for the first time. So, all that said, T-shirts. Should I just go ahead and blow it? I mean, we're going to need the T-shirts. We'll sell them eventually. We save ourselves $1,500. Blowing through money so fast. Why not? we got to start booking something because... Our expenses have almost eclipsed the assets in day one. Yikes. I think we've got the event all set up. Right? Yeah, we did that. Come on now, keep moving. I guess we proceed. Indeed. You're about to witness history in the making with the birth of a new promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the inaugural event of WW World Wrestling. We plan to be the best in the world and every one of you can help us to get there. So, idea is trying to get a couple dudes, get a couple people on the roster, and uh, book a tournament once we've got 10 or 12. And, uh, yeah, let's watch them. Let's see what happens. I have no control over what these dudes do. I don't think I can edit them or do anything to affect their affect their move sets. See this intro here. <laughs> Matt Robinson, here he comes. The divine Matt Robinson. sound here and his opponent weighing in at something 
Thomas Walker, the brilliant devil. Not quite sure what to expect from these two different styles. We've got Matt Robinson with the slightly unorthodox, the uh, anxious, meticulous. Let's start with a test of strength, and Matt Robinson is looking like he's willing to do what it takes to win at all costs. Into the ropes. A couple high impact moves here or not. I don't know what the finishers are. This is all pretty new to see these uh, random fellas generated here. Very curious to see what starts happening out of the uh, like training centers if you start having prospects and where they come from and what kind of control. There's a kick to the face on the... Uh, Rolling kick? No, it's not a rolling kick. That's the trigger chin music. I don't know what you want to call that. But here in World Wrestling, there is definitely a tendency towards the realism and the strong style. Uh, we are the King's Road style of wrestling, which typically means just big bad boys beating each other up. And uh, these two guys here aren't necessarily the biggest, but they're not weaklings either. And uh, Matt, Matt Robinson, I think, was 6'3", 250-ish. Pretty teal tights he's got on. Todd Walker kicks him in the butt. A little exchange here in the middle, and Matt... Matt Robinson gets the best of him with those side kicks and a shoulder tackle lifts him up and Walker's not done with the corkscrew knee takedown snap mare goes back to that hamstring and a brutal kick it's a, it's a kind of uh, insecurity I don't know if that's an insecurity like a, uh, it's a kick. It's a kick of sorts, right? And a rolling punch. There is a time limit on these matches. I think this is a 20 minute TV time limit. Oh, a jawbreaker. It's going to take more than that. He tried to strike while the pain was hot there, but Matt Robinson is not done. He goes for his own pin. Circling each other a bit. Uh-oh, a double underhook. Pedigree. Is this it? No, not even a one count. And another brutal move. Suplex into an arm bar combination. Another corkscrew knee takedown. And a chin buster? Followed by a Boston grab. The momentum changing here pretty quick. And then Walker with the brutal forearms to the face. And a pinning combination. Just a one. Brutal suplex there. Matt Robinson starting to take the upper hand again. But no, Walker, ah. They go back and forth exchanging, trying to get control. And the rolling punch combination there. Robinson pulls him away from the ropes. What has he got planned for him now? He's got planned to uh, look for his eyeball. The rolling punch again, just... Continuing to work over Walker with the Lariat, the straight arm clothesline. Uh-oh, to the second rope. Superplex. Oh, I don't know what that is. Some sort of jackhammer, some, I don't. And then to the chokes. Both men starting to show a little bit of the uh, effects of this 
This match has not really stopped since the bell rang. It's just a forearm and elbow to the face for just for fun, I guess. A rolling punch combination again. I really hope I can edit these guys. I don't think I can, but I would like to make them not do that move all the time. And a splash there. Walker battling back. Brutal elbow to the middle of the back there. And some kicks to the lower spine. And he's going to go ahead and go for the pin. Just a two. I can't say that I thought that that was going to be enough to keep Matt Robinson down. And they exchange blows here. Neither can connect. And a hip toss. Both men are exhausted. TV time limit is in effect. They've got till 20. So just under eight and a half minutes to go in this one. Both of them trying to keep it in the center of the ring. And a Boston Crab. Walker's got Robinson in the Boston Crab. But he's able to break it. And going toe to toe in the middle of the ring. Oh, a brutal rolling lariat. But Walker not to be done. Oh, that's a flurry of offense there to keep himself on the attack. Both men are just gassed at this point. See a little bit of a move set staleness here, maybe. What is this? Oh, a brutal running knee lift. Both men just have these striking capabilities they can land. And then that ability to rolling suplex into a barring of the arm. Matt Robinson's going to freaking take that thing home and use it as a back scratcher. And a rolling neck breaker from well, I can't remember his name. Tom Walker. Is his name Tom Walker? I kept saying his last name was Walker. I don't know. And this brutal series of clotheslines from uh, now I forgot both of their names. To the top rope and a stomp. But not to end it. That's not enough. Walker with the freaking, what was that, a 480 splash? Not 480, it'd be 360 plus, either be 720 or 560 or something. I don't know. 200, uh, maybe. Approaching the time limit for this. Oh, and that's going to be it. Thought Robinson had it. I thought he was the one. And instead, it looks like we've got possibly the makings of a feud. That match went up and down, back and forth. And we're going to go ahead and get that 100% match evaluation there. Old Thomas Walker had his chances and uh, made good on him. Matt Robinson looked good. Seemed to have things going his way, but couldn't keep it together for the whole match. Couldn't stay on the uh, offensive. And now we've got... Tommy Walker, the first winner, the first winner in a WW match, gonna take the W, and let's continue on. Two more big bouts on this card. The first.
and only card of the WW promotion. Two big matches still. And then hopefully maybe we can sign some guys. Try to get this thing off the on the right foot. I don't really want to keep booking the same matches. That last match turned out to be pretty solid. Nothing wrong with that one at all. Let's see what David Houston and Bill Bullock got to say. We'll continue that match now. Making his way to the ring area. The anti-gravity kid himself, David Houston. This green hair he's got. Don't mess with that guy. And his opponent making his way down to the ringside area. The convict, Bill Bullock. He's the convict, huh? Well, he looks positively frightening. And I need to change the color scheme on this computer because everybody's hair is looking a little green. Oh, Bullock with the slam here in the second ever match for the WW promotion. Going to try to get a couple of events under our belts and see kind of how where the storylines are going and who are standouts are and then bring in a couple more talents to open it up for a championship tournament the first match was about all you could ask for between Thomas Walker and Matt Robinson a hundred percent match evaluation it almost went the distance with the TV time limit you see Bill Bullock is not afraid to use some of that prison jailhouse uh, technique with just brutality. Houston sends him in. Being the anti-gravity kid, he has not really left the uh, confines of the ground yet. There's a little bit of air under him there, but it's kind of a trick. A little bit tough going at first with just six guys and not having any idea about these fellas. I went ahead and started a new promotion and using completely generated fellas. A little problem with the chemistry this match it seems. One. Trying to get into the groove. And Houston's going to get him with the chin check. Brings him to his feet with the Roundhouse kick to the gut. Now Bullock on top of him. Oh, misses that rolling lariat. With a scoop slam with a quick chance to take the boots to the side of the head. And a Frankensteiner there. The anti-gravity kid showing he does he does have uh, just lightning in a bottle flu like just fluid motion just effortlessly and now mixing it up in the middle of the ring here in exchange Houston gets the better with the slap fight but Bullock's not done yet he tries to give him that big old 13 boot he's facing some hard times in the ring corner there nicely done with the ring to assist in the Bit of a Bronco bust there, throwing the weight down on top of the opponent in the corner, and then a shooting star press. Pinning combination, no. Too close. Bullock starting to resort some of that prison yard wrestling tactics again, and uh, his own shooting star press. Are you kidding me? Did not expect any aerial maneuvers from the man who yeah. trades ramen for like it's cash dollar. 
and a rolling lariat did not miss that time and a headbutt rampage attack a Frankensteiner from David Houston to show he's not done whips him into the corner Houston charges with the freaking forearm I'll call it the freaking forearm and another shooting star press is that that's just a moonsault right why am I calling that shooting star press I'll have to do some research to see what's the difference on that later. Put the stiff left hand from Bullock. Oh my. That rock Houston. But not long enough that he can't come up with the double underhook reverse power bomb. And the pinning combination. Bullock says he's got his own power bomb. Oh, what is that? Couldn't keep him down. Houston kicks out just in time. And now, oh, Fisherman Buster, is that what that is? He's pulling Houston out to the middle of the ring. And just pushing themselves to the limit here. Both men starting to show some, some fatigue. And a go to sleep there from David Houston with the round off on top 2.9 just got the shoulder up and then there's an insecurity he's calling he's calling for this finisher oh my goodness with the pop-up frankensteiner pin combo houston tired as a man that just ran a marathon but a strong showing, no less. Anti-gravity kid. I think the name's fitting. The suspect at first. But then he hits him with that high angle Huracan Rana. That match got an 89%. That, that surprises me. So... David Houston wins our second match of the uh, very young WW promotion. And I must now find some paper. To document this historic moment so I do not forget it. Find a damn ink pen around here. Eighty-nine percent, not too bad. I should probably see what kind of statistics this game keeps before I start keeping essentially a spreadsheet of this. Except a hand ledger. It's not really a spreadsheet at this point. So this is like the alternate universe. Alternate universe W W. All right. One thing from TEW that would be nice and would uh, actually get me out of the business of this, what I'm doing right now, would be that notepad option that TEW has inside the game to just for me to go ahead and uh, just put it in writing that um, we've got a pretty good feud going with with Walker and. Uh, Robinson and Houston showed that he might be ready for some kind of move to a you know main eventer kind of status I'm not sure about that we'll have to you know play it by ear 
so I'm just going to put the winner and the loser on the left and the right, like that. Writing here in my friggin' ledger. Walker versus Robinson. Walker got the win. David Houston. Okay. Bill Bullock. Bill Bullock. Why his last name is not really important here. Okay. Then he lost. And our main event now. If you are ready, we have two matches down and one remaining with Hollywood Hunk Jack Howard. Crowd's loving it so far, it appears. How do you think they're going to feel about this one? Let's go ahead and do it and see what happens. This is supposed to be a best two of three, remember? Let's see what happens. If I had thought I was going to be playing this game, some of these guys I've never heard of before. I'm not sure that would have excited me, but it's kind of fun. I like to see some of the guys I've never, never seen before coming to the ring. Like the Hollywood hunk, Jack Howard. And he's going to get a chance to take a real close look. at the pajama wearing man himself the he hell knight Mikey Mickey Williams hell knight what was that? came in the ring with a freaking big piece of gold or something or was that something that he shouldn't have had like something that couldn't have uh, never mind. Just trying to think out loud and watch this, and I can't. I can't commentate and do it all. Not do it well. But a big slam there. Give up. I apologize for the silence. Look, yawning, yawning to death, and um, yeah, the, we tried to pick up some of those toys yesterday, but I think I'm falling asleep while I'm sitting here. This barn burner of a main event has been kind of sold short by me, I'm just so sleep deprived, of about to fall asleep sitting here, and Mickey Williams about to eat that knee. Dark Knight, huh? He's out here. We didn't know that we'd ever find him. Match turning into a battle of Give wills up. here with all the point blank close range just elbows and forearms and swinging the 
I would call that a haymaker of a motion just flailing on your arms. I'm starting to uh, doze in and out, saying things that I don't think were making Whoa. sense. Big yeah, Boss Man says, I know what makes yeah, sense though. Can't be long for this world, and yet he's there just going after it. keeping the old eyes open after last night's marathon and I somehow thought I was gonna wrap this up early and go place the uh, server 12 or something what I'm just throwing out words that don't make any sense I'm definitely in between sleep and reality Let's try to stay stay in the present for the rest of this match here Mickey Williams finds a kendo stick! Oh, and he did not give it to him lightly. He looked like he was a fly that's been buzzing around his house for too long. And now a chair. Mickey Williams pulling it all out. This is a bit of a unofficial but kind of number one contenders match here. Definitely would assume whoever wins this is the heavyweight, the champ. But, uh. Yeah, I mean. My brother, I used to be around when he was wrestling, and. You know, I talked to him. Can I put a, a luchador mask on? They're gonna get mad at me for wearing that? And it's like, nah, nah, unless you're some asshole trying to sell them. I'm like, it ain't like that. But, yeah, I mean, this. I doubt that he's wearing this in the jungle now, right? This is kind of a while, not too long ago, but a ye year or two at least. Oh, slowly but surely falling asleep. Missing this action in the ring. Look at that. Look at the blood. Oh, he's biting his face now. The Hollywood hunk, that has got to be one of his biggest concerns. This is good looks, just getting chewed off. Oh lordy, he pulls him back to his feet. And the Hollywood hunk is sent to the outside. Kendo sticks are out. Steel chairs just laying around. Blood on the concrete. A low blow. Mickey Williams. Another kendo stick. There's three of them. There's more kendo sticks than people. And the Hollywood hunk is not afraid to use it. He's not going for it though. And this underhooked running sit out power bomb thingy. That might be it. That looked brutal. 2 9. And a DDT to put him away. Not enough. He wants to drop the falling fist of fury, whatever you want to call that. And another one. The Hollywood hunk. Oh my goodness. Fall away slam. Just threw him just so inconsiderately just threw him into the wall. Threw him into the corner. The Hollywood hunk is just tearing him a new one here. The elbow. Get a pin on that man. It's 
Gonna pull him back up and now he's gonna eat a vertical suplex. Drag him into the center of the ring here a little bit and the stomp of the gas pedal there and a what? A sickle to the face? I didn't know it was like that, Hollywood hunk. We're still discovering who these guys are. The game just kind of randomly generated these folks and the different promotions. And uh, these are our six. These are this is the main event of our first show. And Mickey Williams ain't having nothing. Ain't having none of it. See if I could stay awake for the rest of this. I literally was like going in and out of conversations. I could hear myself doing it, but none of the conversations were m making sense. And I was very much sitting here with my eyes stuck together, basically. And Hollywood Hunk finally. He looks like he's the loser. But as of right now, wait, that's a best of three, isn't it? He's winning the best of three by one now. Or to know that game setting didn't get, didn't stick with us. Well, Jack Howard. writing because we're going to shuffle that up a little bit hopefully next one alright ninety five on that one One before that was like an eighty-nine percent. That sound about right. Yeah. So there's that. Um. I'm really sure what that clears up for us. Second match, there is in fact a best of three. Here we go. Molly, get. One, Damn cat trying to mess stuff up. Get away from me. Oh man, Mickey Williams pulling out the foreign objects. I don't even know what that was. Three amigos coming here. And that went into a bridge for the pin. And only a two. But that almost wrapped up the second fall quick. Mickey Williams taking too long. And a brutal spear. Ah. Ref's got to be seeing that, right? Ref's just hanging out. Nothing.
All right, I'm not quite sure what happened there. We're gonna have the two minute and 36 second mark. And that, uh, I can't tell who won. O's good or X is good? What? So the King Cobra hold there. This is what happens when I don't sleep for two days straight. I literally fall asleep sitting up while I'm talking. We've got one more match here, the rubber match, to decide it all. Vertical Brain Buster Zoomplex. Both these men, after some of the matches they've had here today, and then trying to do this. Best of two of three. This is a big one now. Oh, Dan Spivey. That's what I feel like I'm seeing. Yeah. Maybe some young Sid Vicious. He's trying to stretch old Hollywood hunk out. <gasps> oh, a rolling lariat as I temporarily come to my sanity from this sleep deprivation. Oh, Mickey Williams is using everything he can get. Aaron and digging at the Hollywood Hunk space. And that running power bomb, sit out power bomb. And that's it, Hollywood Hunk. I didn't see exactly what got him into that pinning combo, but I mean, it's almost like a game, a game that. It's almost like it's a game you've been waiting to watch for eight or nine months now. So Jack Howard slips by. And that's that. A 77%. Not great. That brings the first card to a close. Walker, Houston, and Jack Howard get the wins on this first go round. Let's go ahead and send it home. We end the event. Let's see what it says. They're going to go ahead and call that a success. We pulled it off, but the empty bleachers stood out. We may want to consider a smaller venue. Not sure there are any smaller ones in the American Rural Gym, but we'll definitely consider them if there are. Almost got butts in every seat. Good day, I think. See what kind of money we made to offset pretty heavy spending. Takawa Katsu won the heavyweight 
I don't know these people, so this is kind of silly. Bill and Enzo won the KFS. Miguel of MWA won the MWA. Raita became the new champion. Freddy of MPW won the MPW Heavyweight. Aichi of BME won the BME Heavyweight. Owen of CWA won the CWA Junior Heavyweight. Alvaro of BDG won the BDG Heavyweight. Kodo and Ken won the Ace Heavyweight Tag Team. Masato and Tomoki won the ONI Heavyweight. Yashua of TFC won the TFC. Jonathan of DFW won the DFW Heavyweight. So that month was rough on the old book. We got 20 bucks back, or 20k back. We burned through about 85k. Shit. Yeah, I think it's just time for me to go to sleep. So I definitely appreciate people popping in and out of the stream here. And, uh,. I'm going to try to build this out a little more, see what happens. And then, of course, we've got all those classic wrestlers and those folks in the wings that I'll continue to work on kind of my downtime. But for now, sleep is calling my name. If I can try to keep it together, maybe. Outside chance, I'll do a little bit of one hour, one life. I'm only going to do it if I see... Uh, a dearth of people to watch or um, people that may be splintered off and want to join and get I mean that's what church is for is the fellowship and this and that and I'm just completely sleeping sitting up is insane how tired I am because I didn't sleep at all last night so I probably better change that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look at these numbers here but we're gonna cut it real shortly ticket sales ticket price yay seven seventy three thousand seventy three hundred on merch sales that's nice works I mean, if those numbers are all true, that's like a pretty good. All right, well, let's go ahead and put this thing to bed get myself some sleep so I can do this all weekend and uh, maybe bring some life to the old WW as of now looking like Jack Howard is the man to beat and um, although I don't like his tactics and some of the dirty stuff that the old convict Bill Bullock's up to he had a good showing and looked every bit as physical as a person from a prison should and uh but David Houston was really the star of that match so looking at maybe a Walker versus Robinson part two some unfinished business there and uh Jack Howard's gonna be looking for some new people to you know challenge as he's got his sights set on winning the inaugural WW championship tournament but the tournament's still to be announced when we get a few more wrestlers into the uh, promotion so first time round, I was spending through a bunch of money like an idiot wasting money on some negotiations and guest wrestlers that I couldn't even figure out how to get into the match that was really stupid I just dropped four grand on that uh, I'm not sure if the referee I used was it more expensive or not for any reason, but 
gym renovation. Went ahead and did that right off the bat. If I'm going to spend that money, might as well do it early while I can get extra time to benefit. And then gym upkeep, I don't think I did. Not here, at least. It's probably... It's coming out of my tax dollar somewhere. Uh, gym amenities, we did buy a medicine ball and um, some other thing. And uh, we did buy a shit ton of t-shirts too, knowing that we saved $1,500 to buy three times as many as we wanted. It looks like, let's see if I sold any. Does it even show me? T-shirt sales, 7,300. Mm, so, I mean, I'm past the quarter mark of repaying it. Interesting. Well, I definitely would like to continue to do this, but I'm unfortunately falling asleep while I'm sitting up because I had to stay up all night last night doing work. So, I think for now I'm going to collect my thoughts. We've got something to look forward to for the second ever uh, promotion event. What am I saying? Yeah. But, Fire Pro, WW, the World Wrestling is officially born. And as of now, um,. I'm going to keep the sim going, or keep the save going with the random computer generated people, just to get the handle of the mechanisms and how this works. If it's a good show and everything's working, I'll keep the save going, but uh, in the background, in the meantime, I'm downloading some wrestlers and trying to get the stables and promotions set up for them. Um for all the creative guys I downloaded so I can have a pretty interesting mix of oldies and goodies and uh, yeah it means a lot of admin work is going to be required for me to get that all set up the way I want it but I've got a PlayStation Vita that's what that kind of stuff is for and uh, yeah we'll kind of maybe have two different promotions going depending on how good this works and how uh, how time consuming it is but definitely count on the alternate universe version of WW here with Jack Hollywood hunk Howard looking like he's got uh, aspirations to be the champ and uh, he has demonstrated the fact that he might be on the way to accomplishing that so for now we'll leave that there I'm gonna get some sleep I'm gonna be better next time I see you and uh, I do hopefully see you again here soon and now we've got some of this off and running some exciting times to come for WW the world wrestling because um, yeah they're here now, King style, beating people up, getting hit with freaking kendo sticks. It's everything I dreamed it would be. So, tune back in tomorrow and uh, follow me on Twitter if you want. Follow me on here. I'll follow you back, especially if you play wrestling games like this. Definitely always interested in uh, Total Extreme Wrestling 2, TEW, and um, this game, Fire Pro, the promoter mode now, one hour, one life, I kind of stream whatever, whatever game I have in my, uh, disposal at the time, but would love to, uh, continue to watch this play out alongside you, and, uh, come back next, uh, come back tomorrow, we'll continue a little bit further, get closer to this, this tournament, and I don't know if I get a chance to design a belt or do anything fun like that. Um, that might be something for the for the real life people version, my created wrestlers version. 
because I do have certain belts for the promotions. Um, again, that's just going to be a lot of admin bull stuff. A lot of admin bullshit I got to get done, but we'll do it. And uh, count on seeing Jack Howard tomorrow taking on David Houston in the rematch of Thomas Walker, Matt Robinson, guys who had a 100% match in their first ever debut in WW and uh, first event of success on to February. And we'll see you soon. For now, thanks so much.